come up a little bit. There we go. All right, hey guys. Okay, for those of you on Periscope and YouTube, uh, we're gonna do a quick meal because my presence has been requested at an event tonight, and I'm like, you know, while I love my lazy Sundays, uh, I gotta go and support some people tonight. Actually, um, Ryan Cameron is debuting his directorial debut tonight uh, for Uncensored that y'all are gonna be watching on TV One. I'll be at the viewing party. Good Lord willing, this chicken gets done, and I can run right out of the door. I can't run right out of the door. I gotta go get dressed. So right now, I have on some cooking clothes. And listen, Chick-fil-A is closed, so we're gonna make our own chicken sandwiches. And it's gonna be like just a late Sunday meal. I know everybody's kind of feeling it because we spray forward today, whatever day. What, what, no, you guys are watching this live. I gotta get used to, I'm so used to having, I'm so used to like making videos and having to like, not discuss the time and all that kind of stuff. Honey, we are live. Chill it down. Chill it down. In fact, let me grab my lemonade since I got to drive. I can't spike the lemonade. So, a couple of dedications for the chicken sandwich. You will notice that I am rocking the Falcon shirt. Okay, I'm not the dog. I know I've been blogging at Lancer for Dryer Buzz for 17 years. I'm a native. The Falcons and I are the same age. Okay, I. I was born, they came to town. I'm supposed to be a Die Hard Falcon fan, but we don't love each other like that. Okay, I'm just saying. But I want to dedicate today because I know this is going to end up being a great game day sandwich. Used to be, you know, when football season was over, it was like over. We didn't even talk about it now. I know in Atlanta we got a new team. We got, we got um, the Atlanta United, the soccer team, Die Hard fans on that. You know, baseball is in spring training. Um, that's basketball. Oh, wait, we do have a basketball team too. We are a city, we got sports all around, sports all around, sports everywhere. Atlanta is one of the places you can really find some diehard fans. Listen, we are not championship teams except for the Atlanta United, okay? Okay, championship team. Uh, so the fans here are diehard fans, and diehard fans more so than anywhere around the country except for the Saints. Like, you know, we're done being their our rivals. So again, a moment of silence for the Saints uh, 54 yards, really? I know, right? And they're like, okay, we're 20. They, so from now on, since neither got went to the Super Bowl recently, um, they will forever taunt us with the 2083. We will forever taunt, taunt the Saints with 54 yards. That kick, that kick, we don't, we're not going to talk about the, 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 um, bad call because every team has experienced a bad call. But then, 54 yards, somebody said, how far is Atlanta? 54 yards, no, I'm just playing. I know, gotta go in on the Saints. And I like the Saints, and sometimes I root for the Saints a little bit more than I root for the Falcons. Let me tell you, but I wanted to support the Falcons because if there was a cooked chicken, I mean, a cooked bird, anyway, I, I, I got jokes, I'm sorry, y'all got a whole bunch of, these headlines, these uh, punchlines just popped in my head. So. <laughs> I'm going to bring this up just a little bit because ain't no need to rock in the hair if y'all can't see the hair. Uh, shout out to Details Barber. We go back to third grade and that's where I get the hair cut from. All right. A lot of, a lot of shout outs today before we get started as you guys are coming in. And I'm going to show you something over to my, your right, left, whatever, over there. Uh, the television, we brought the television in because I want you guys to watch if you have fire stick if you have fire stick and you want to see the wider shot you can watch us live right now on your fire stick you want to get your remote hold on this is why because i can't see listening that tatiana is on the road and listening uh i need another device somebody's gonna bring me another device because i can't see you guys over there but listen if you are a cord cord cutter cord cutter Oh, wait, did I finish talking about the cooked bird? Okay, Falcons. I'm rocking the Falcon shirt because when I do, while I'm working on this today, it's going to be a, become an awesome YouTube video, and I want to make sure I show some Atlanta pride. Okay, got to move quickly through this, though, because I do have to get downtown Atlanta. But let me say this. For those of you who are cut cord cutters and you rock your fire stick, and I'm going to see if I can... Oh, I'm missing... Where's my phone? I'm like, Instagram's not on. You see, look at my bed, see if my phone's on there. 
My daughter just brought me a device where I can keep up with the Periscope comments and welcome you guys in. So that'll go there. Y'all, I'm telling you, this ain't easy. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. Yeah. Oh, I knew I was missing something. All right, so this is going to go. What? Is your screen locked? Oh, this I don't need to change it. Okay, cool. So now I can see the comments and welcome you guys in. And there were several comments. Now let's see if it'll... Somebody say something so I can get a comment and welcome you guys in. I'm going to let um, Instagram hang out with us for a little bit. I need to get that plugged in. I need to get this plugged in. I gotta, I'm got. i going to get a battery warning over there. Can I get another charger? It's like, dang, did I, did I prepare this for this? For this at all today? At all? At all? You want at all? Did you prepare? I'll tell you. Let me tell you. Let me get Instagram on. Hold on. Oh, have mercy. I know y'all were like, God, did she do anything? And these onions are about to knock me out. Two simple ingredients tonight: chicken. Onions, bread, chicken, onions, bread. Uh, I'm gonna give you all the ingredients to my not so secret sauce. So I'm gonna plug that up. I'm gonna go behind the camera to plug that up. Instagram is live. Let me leave this comment here. Because we got so many shout outs today, y'all. And I do not want to omit any shout outs because we've got some great supporters on with us that have really joined the Dryer Bus team. And I wanna make sure I do that. Let me get one more device plugged in. Okay, what does it take to live stream? Uh, one, two, three, four devices. Now, there are apps that you can stream to every platform, uh, but I need all of this in an original form. Uh, so let me do this. So hello, Instagram, welcome in. Okay, Tatiana's back, she is driving. She has shared it on, on Twitter. Okay, shout outs. Let me say this, it is now kickoff campaign season okay so what happens is you're going to see that a number of your friends like tatiana who's a great filmmaker uh she's probably on the road because she's probably been at an amazing event or conference or something this weekend i myself am going to be hitting the road so you're going to see that a number of your favorite content creators have launched uh campaigns either on their own or on gofundme or kickstarter listen if you hit, if you're that person, hit that like button, super hard. You follow, you recommend, you share. We need you more than ever. The the cost. One of the things that we have to try to uh, prove, we have come to the table, and we just came through. Whether y'all know it or not, everybody just went through budget season, meaning that while you know, let me just break it down. Meaning from December, November, the fourth quarter of last year. Everybody was sitting down crunching numbers and coming up with their budgets. And what does it take? What does it take for me to live stream for you guys? You know, listen, one, two, three, four devices. Plus now I've added a huge television that's right here. I'm going to show you guys that. Uh, the cost of the food, the cost of the time, the wardrobe, makeup, the manicures, all of those things. Um, the, the people who I would love to have somebody over there with the camera, somebody coming in and getting all of this. We want to elevate to that level because what you don't realize and what you haven't thought about is, I was like, I keep hearing that door. Um, what you have to realize, like my tech guy, my new tech guy, he don't know it yet. Say hello, tech guy. Hello. Hi. My new tech guy. All of those things, right, to even add people to the level of this so that we can up the production value because, as you know, social media is the game. Okay, social media is the game. And with the production value, we all need to bring up the production value because if we don't bring up the production value, then somebody's going to swoop in and just take it all and do what we do. So, uh, and my tech guy just hooked up to the television. I was like, wait a minute. We're a cord cutter. We don't have to have the TV in certain spots anymore. I can sit and watch YouTube. So, um, if you are not subscribed to us on YouTube, go and subscribe to YouTube. But, now remember, like I said, fourth quarter, we were all doing a budget. So now what happens is, uh, in tax time, while it's tax time for everybody else, organizations, corporations, angel investors, investors are, are now looking at their budgets as well, trying to figure out where 
are they going to drop dollars, you know, make, spread the bag, uh, share the coin, all those different things. Um, they're trying to decide how they're going to do that. And they're looking for people with ideas, napkin stage, uh, full on productions, trying to figure out what they can take to the next level that they can benefit from. So you're going to see your friends now amping it up and uh, they're going to need you to hit more than that like button. They're going to need you to hit more than that share button. They're going to need you to make small, medium, large contributions um, because when you see somebody get out the game, and y'all know over the years, you've seen some people get out of the game. You've been on Instagram, you've been on video, uh, all those things. You see people get out of the game, get out of the game, it's because they are unable to prove that they have the audience or the support. And I've been in, at this 17 years, so I know how this works. So, and I'm not saying it because I need your support. I'm saying it because a lot of the content creators need your support. Look at that Forbes list, okay? We, we can put some people on that Forbes list if we just start putting our money uh, where their ideas are. And we talk about, it's Women's History Month, right? We had International Women's Day. And the whole tech game was like, well, where are the women? Well, women have problem fundraising. Women have problem uh, getting beyond all, you know, the people say male dominant. Let me tell you, it's easy to park the seed in a male dominant because women are more brilliant, you know. But it, it, it doesn't matter how brilliant the idea is if you don't, if you can't show the support. So go and check if your favorite country creator has a campaign. Now you're asking, but drivers, do you have a campaign? Yes, I do. Whatever platform you're on, you swipe to the bio, swipe to the profile, you will see, especially on Periscope. Thank you so much for those of you inviting. Hey, Jack Frost, welcome in. Girly, welcome in. Um, if you go on, on Periscope, swipe to the profile, you'll see our campaign um, GoFundMe. Um, while we have a lofty goal, we need numbers of supporters more so than we need to hit the goal. Because what they're looking at, again, is how many people can you support. There are people that are going to come to the table and match what you give. There are uh, people who are going to give a lot of in-kind and those kind of things. Okay, i got to hurry up. Already 10 minutes in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I need to be out that door at least by 8.30 or that's going to be roughly about less than an hour. All I have here is just very simply two things that I am going to cook. Instagram, great shop. Periscope, great shop. Uh, again, if you guys have Fire Stick, if you have Fire Stick, we are live on Fire Stick right now. Go over to your Fire Stick. Let me see if I, I don't know, Periscope, you guys to be able to see this. Let's go over there. <laughs> yes, you can see it, Periscope. Can you see this, Instagram? Let me turn you guys on. Let's see. Let me see. Instagram. Okay, so here we go right there. Okay, so brought the television. My tech guy hooked us up, Periscope. Oh, dang, that's a nice shot. Um. Let's see what YouTube looks like. So when we're live, and now you can find it on Periscope. I'm still trying to navigate my app. But I'm going to come down, and I'm going to go over to my YouTube. So if you go on your Periscope, I'm going to go on your Fire Stick, and go to YouTube, okay, you should have already subscribed. If you have already clicked that subscribe button, don't let me forget to shout out my, um, let me go back. I keep hitting something. There we go, YouTube. Let me say this. Shout out to our early supporters. Look, see, there it is right there. Bam! It comes right up on your screen. You guys can't see it. Let me turn you guys over a little bit. So there it is right there. It says your current live streams. So if you are a subscriber, you would automatically see that we are live and on your TV. So you're just going to start play. Um, then I'm going to turn the volume down just quickly so that we don't. Look at that girl on there. Oh, honey, go. YouTube. YouTube has a good shot. Okay, you two can't see the TV, but uh, that's how we are. So you could be in your bed, you could be in your recliner, you could be leaning back on your sofa watching us cook live, or in, if you want to um, check out any of the videos that we have done um, before. Let me tell you, I've watched some of my videos, they look good. And this is why you need a great production value, because this thing has gone well beyond just your phone. It's gone well beyond just your phone or your small devices. Um, this is what the industry has been trying to do is bring this content to an uh, element of what they call lean back. I know, I know that's your boy, but lean back, lean back. They want you to be able to lean back and enjoy this content. So they are pushing out the content creators to uh, and up, up, amp up your 
to end for, let me bring you guys back around. Y'all don't want to watch TV all day, right? Let me bring you guys back around. All right, you guys, uh, first, back to the shout-outs. Instagram, you are watching courtesy of Joystick. You guys are on the Joystick, J-O-I-S-T-I-K, a great streaming device. It's a countertop, tabletop device that holds about three devices, okay? Two, three, yeah, two, three devices. The tablet at the top and two devices. Thanks so much for the hearts on Instagram. Okay, so... Also, got a shout out to our early supporters that have jumped on our uh, GoFundMe, Angela Stalkham. Angela and I will be doing a, a podcast called Becoming. Um, that's going to talk about, we're going to talk up until Michelle, up until and after. Michelle Obama comes to Atlanta with her Becoming tour. And um, so that's going to air on Periscope, and then it's going to rock over to all podcast platforms. Um, i got to give a shout out to Zakia Ringo. Y'all know the Soap Lady Z. Let me make sure I see this. Welcome in, Greer. Hey there, Sarah Kim, um, Sarah Keevan, um, Zakia Ringo, the soap lady, which I luxuriate in the soap, no lotion needed, the skin is popping. Hello there. Um, so got a shout out to Zakia. She is a supporter. Um, Sandra Mason is a supporter already. Will Williams is a supporter. Will Williams is a leader in the beauty industry. And you know our site is called Dryer Bus. And he's one of he's somebody we partner with on beauty, on hair education, everything about the kink in your hair, natural hair, to using all the different products, even if you're still relaxed hair, and you're doing the protective styles and all of that. That's where I go to get all the hair knowledge because that's not my that's not my lane. Uh, the great conversations we have in the salon is my lane. Um, I don't want to I certainly don't want to miss anybody. Let me see, there's a couple others. So what they have signed on to do is help us upgrade our value petty betty which is my side cook now first another let me and i don't like disclaimers but i'm not a chef and i'm not trying to play one on a live stream i am a mother i was a, I'm a daughter i was a caregiver uh i am i have a level of advocacy to everything that i do so coming into the kitchen i am coming into the kitchen um my initiative even though we're gonna have a good time this creates great videos Got some good viral videos out there on how to cook. But I'm also trying to address the level of uh, food insecurities. So I will be working this spring with organizations. That's why I need that time. One of the things that GoFundMe is going to do is give me the time to go and volunteer my time with others. So with your support, I will be able to go off with these organizations and help them create their media and, and, and get the, help them get the word out because one of the things that I noticed in the caregiver mode, it's hard to find resources when you need it. And also there are level, there's a level of pride that people have. I live outside of Atlanta, one of the suburbs. And even in the suburbs, uh, I noticed over the last couple of years, the number of food pantries that open, uh, the, the situations with the jobs moving around from state to state. We went through a real serious situation when we had the government shut down. Uh, a lot of these organizations had to switch, or not switch from their traditional population that they serve, but they immediately had uh, had to double and sometimes triple and quadruple their populations that they serve. When we have storms, you know, uh, look at the fire situation that went on on the West Coast. Those people are still at their home. Just because you don't see these things on your news, and, and y'all, I'm a blogger, so I'm sorry if I haven't started cooking, but bear with me, I have to get this information out to you, okay? Just because you don't see these stories still on news. My son even went down to Puerto Rico, helping to get Puerto Rico back online. He's, he's uh, part of an engineering installation team that went with the, with the National Guard, you know? So just because, he just actually got back, he was actually overseas for a while. He's getting ready to go overseas again. And I know Puerto Rico is like, Puerto Rico, I'm just saying, he goes to all these different places. So, you know, we see that, um, but what the reason why I'm still knowledgeable of what's going on, because just because it's not on the news any longer or a headline or a trend and people aren't sharing the stories, doesn't mean these things went away. So I, as an advocate, when I'm having fun in my kitchen and I was able to go out and grab a meal, people ask me, what happens with all that food? Because sometimes, you know, my family will enjoy it. Sometimes they're like, okay, we full. They're not already ate. Because they're like, oh, she she's streaming today dinner, so we probably won't eat till later. So, but what I notice is sometimes 
I have to get rid of a lot of food. And I'm like, I needed to find a place to help serve someone. And I know in the caregiver mode, I know somebody just showing up for something. So a lot of the dishes that I make, I make them so that you get the idea of this is something you can make if you need to take it to somebody. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna talk about. But I really want to add a level level of advocacy to this. I don't want to just come on and be, you know, insta famous, you know, and people loving the lemonade and this kind of thing. I want to make sure that somebody's not watching this video and they don't have anything to eat. And I know, I know oh, did that go there? Wait a minute, it just went off. Let me get that back up. Um I don't remember what to say. Oh, I got it. I got it. Um, I just want to make sure that people aren't looking at this video wondering how this happens. And I need you guys to know how this happens, the timing that goes into it, the cost that goes into it. If there's somebody out there that's hungry, inbox me. It's yours. I don't want anybody suffering. And, and you know, while this is fun and this is exciting, I see what's going on in my community. Last night I talked about being at the gas station getting gas and the lady pulled up next to me who was a hoarder and she had all this stuff in her car and we had a whole discussion on that on an earlier video. I mean, there are some of us that just kind of carry the weight. You know, yeah, I want to be like cute on, on the live stream and all that kind of stuff and, you know, drinking the natural lemonade and, you know, but somebody is not. Somebody is, can't watch this video because they had to decide between paying their internet connection or their phone bill for their medication, you know, and their rent. Somebody was, in, I'm in a group here in my neighborhood, and the lady was saying that she had taken on a, a contract, um, and her power was off, and then the person decided not to pay her. She was asking, you know, how does she um, get her money, you know, because she, it was a make or break deal, and especially when you are um, using online entrepreneurs and people that are in the gig economy and things like that, and I'm telling you, I mean, like, stop making stop making people chase their money down. Like that, that's crazy. You know, there's a lot going on, and we are a better society when we realize there's a lot going on. Let's just stop acting like we don't see it. If nobody sees you, I see you. I see. I see you. Just got logged in, watching you live. Talk with Yate. So make sure y'all check out Talk with Yate. She does a, a great inspirational thing. And like, okay, I said this is going to be quick. Um, shout out to everybody that swiping to the profile and donating on the GoFundMe. And the biggest part of the GoFundMe is just really going to allow me the time um, to bring in a level of advocacy to this, as well as to upgrade our technology, as well as to upgrade the kitchen. And uh, to pitch, I'm doing a number of pitching because what I'm going to do is I'm pitching to, other, to organizations to become their spokesperson. Uh, I'm pitching to um, people who match funds. I'm pitching to get back on the speaking circuit and all of that. So the numbers on all this stuff is really important that you're going over on your fire stick and watching us on YouTube, that you're watching on Periscope, that you're liking, you're following, all those things. Listen, when it comes to women, we're talking Women's History Month. Women are, are not able to prove these numbers. I'm just saying. And so, and that's why you don't see some of your friends ascend to where they ought to be in these games, okay? All right, and I'm coming back to this. I, I've taken a 40-year hiatus of what I learned. They see that movie Juanita. Now, did y'all watch Juanita? Go watch Juanita on Netflix after this. Watch Juanita. Black Woman Sabbatical. I'm like, whoa, that's what I'm on? I'm on a Black Woman Sabbatical, but I'm getting ready to come back. Okay. Very quickly, not a lot, not a lot. We're gonna do one, we're gonna do a couple things, just seriously a couple things. I'm just gonna brown these onions, I'm gonna fry this chicken. Now my daughter wants me to bread it. These are some boneless chicken thighs um, that I picked up. I like to get my chicken, no association, but I like the sprouts now, because I can always go and find some big, beautiful thighs. I don't like, I'm a dark meat person, so I like chicken thighs. Uh, I don't, don't, I ain't fighting with no wings come game day, tailgating, and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to have to eat a bunch of wings just to enjoy the flavor. Um, I like a chicken thigh. Chicken thigh makes a great chicken sandwich, okay? Let's see. Bet it's the bomb. Sprouts. Oh, sprouts is the bomb. You bet it's the bomb. Hold on. I got to get some I gotta get some charging going on all around here. Let's see. You guys are good up there, so let me get some 
charging going on down here. And I, I know I need to get some YouTube charged up. Uh, so Periscope is using two devices because I'm, I'm broadcasting on a smaller device. But I'm using a larger device. See, I'm hungry too, honey, Jax. I'm hungry too. Okay. Um, the latest YouTube we did was, oh, I don't think I did a YouTube, but we did a bake-off with some of the bakers. And that's the lemon cake that you're seeing over here. For those of you that are like all behind me, looking at everything, that's some lemon cake. Over there on the stove, that in the cast iron skillet, we did a, our a quick peach cobbler. So half of that is still over there. So they got enough dessert. Uh, pasta, if you're looking at the pasta, we do pasta making. We have a pasta series. And the mixer came to us at Christmas, thanks to daughter, Christmas present. Um, the other day, I also got an Oster 18 quart cooker oven. Um, and I was like, what? 18 quarts? What would I make 18 quarts of, honey? The other day, I made 18 quarts of ox tails, okay? So we still got leftovers in the fridge. But we made the 18 quarts of oxtails. We did the southern recipe because I ain't from the islands. Okay, I know originally and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we might be all connected. But um, I would, I have a southern recipe, which I then kind of combined with some other things that I've learned through hanging out in the kitchen. So if you want to check out that video, that's on YouTube uh, as well. Let me see comments. Uh, I watched it last night. It was good. Oh, Juanita. Minister. Hey, Minister, what's up? Needs you to do a tour you need, you know what, I need, and listen, minister, put me down when you do your press credentials for your, for your favorite Falcons. I need to be at the Falcons on the field with you come football season. That's what I need you to do. You are going to get me cooking. I'm, my goal is to get you cooking. My goal um, in coming back into the kitchen was to get away from canned goods, get away from processed foods, and just kind of see some things that I've started to buy. I'm like, how can I make that fresh, right? So I'm gonna grab a pan here and we're gonna get our onions on just right here in the front. And usually I will, I tried to take you guys a little bit higher so y'all can see the stove. Um, I'm too lazy to cook. Stop being too lazy to cook. In this pan, I'm gonna put in some oil and some onions. That's it. No, no, that's not it. I'm gonna put some oil and some um, salt. And we're going to let the onions just hang out for the entire video. And I know my friends are like, she ain't coming. She ain't coming. She done started live streaming over there. She cooking. She is not coming to this event. I promise y'all I am coming to the event. So we get that going. And then I'm going to hit that off with some salt. My chicken is already marinated. All I'm going to do now is get a pan, get something to um, toss that around in some flour. I have a bowl over here. This might be a little bit too big of a bowl. But just because I want to grab something quickly, let me get the red bowl. Let's go to the pantry here. When you see me go off camera, there's a pantry over there, but one of y'all's cameras can capture it. Okay. All right. The YouTube shop is really good, y'all. And YouTube and Periscope, I tried to mirror the YouTube and Periscope. Um, the Instagram has a, is a portrait because we go ahead and cut some of that and we're going to put that on the thing. More comments. Hey, True Beauty. Hello there. All right. So all I've got to do is they want the chicken flour. I want the chicken. I'd rather have it just like this, but they want it to soak up the not so secret sauce. Y'all are about to get my not so secret sauce recipe. So we're going to flour our chicken. So I'll put that there. To which I will add in some flour. Just, and, and normally I will put some extra seasoning, but it looks like my chicken is pretty well, pretty well um, marinated. I'm just trying to think through. I, I might put a little bit of something in the flour. I don't know. Usually I will put that in there. Let me see what I can put in there. Let me see what season. Let's see what I got. Where's my. I had a, Let's see what we can put. My daughter doesn't want it to be too spicy, y'all. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic. I was looking for my... Trying to think. Where I, bought, I bought this spice the other day. We were talking about it, but where did I... Talk on it. Okay, I got to find my bag. I got to find my bag. 
I'm gonna put a little, just a little bit of garlic salt in there. You know what I still forgot to do in marinating because I was trying to marinate and get ready. I forgot to put my fresh garlic on my chicken, but and I wanted to do some. There's my rosemary. I'm I'm gonna put this in just in the flour so it will. This at my time. Yeah, let's put a little bit of. Just because I wanted to, when I coat the chicken, I just want to have a little bit of um, beauty and, and aroma, uh, aroma and so forth. I'm looking for my whisk. My daughter put rearranged and some of this, a lot of the stuff is now in the pantry. So I'm trying to make sure I got my oil. That's what I need now. There it is. We're going to go vegetable oil on that. And the onions are ready to go in. And they're just going to hang out. Like I said, Chick-fil-A is closed today. I'm actually going to put a top 
on these onions and just kind of let them go. I got enough video of onions, Lord knows. Just two things that we're cooking. Oh, you know what I forgot to get? My coleslaw. I think we got some in there. They wanted to serve this with coleslaw. And again, if you are watching this video or watching the final video um, or replaying the video during the, during the football season because you're trying to find the best thing to make for football, um, I think this is going to be perfect with a slaw. That's the only thing we could come up with. I don't, I don't like cheese on my chicken. I don't. And then too, I know a lot of you are have uh, are in within your Lent. A lot of you have given up things for Lent and so forth. So bear with me on that. We're letting our pan get hot. We're just going to take um, the first half of our chicken and get that fried off. And that's literally all I'm going to do is fry some chicken. But I'm going to make this sauce. I guess while that gets hot, I can go ahead and start the sauce. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm going to make this real easy on myself. So I'm going to grab all my little containers here. And this is perfectly, why do, and this is from the Chrissy Teigen collection. But why, why do you think measurements come like this? Because it's the perfect measurement of what you need when making your sauce, okay? When you're making anything. And I feel like, I still feel like there was another one. So we have one cup, one half cup, one third cup, one fourth cup. The one fourth cup is always going to be the hot sauce because Petty Betty don't like hot food. Can't eat hot food. I can't eat hot food. But apparently when I reached a certain age, I ended up with this. And I used to always wonder, why Patty LaBelle like her food so hot? Well, apparently once a woman reaches a certain age, she gets the sudden, what do they call it? Sudden tolerance for spicy food. I used to cook eat any spicy food, and now I want everything with a little kick. So we're just going to go in with a little bit of, not a lot of hot sauce. Okay, if anybody will have a fit. Then next, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, one, it's a barbecue sauce, so we definitely want a lot of ketchup. So ketchup is going to be the main ingredient. I, it's a brand new bottle of ketchup. I don't even eat ketchup, but w let me tell you, when I was trying to figure out how to make this like from scratch, I looked at the ingredients. Have y'all ever looked at the ingredients of ketchup and mustard? Let me tell you how I got the idea to even mix the sauce like this. I went back to elementary school. How many of you see in my day we had people, the kitchen, the, the kitchen crew at the school, they used to cook like real food, right? But they would always mix the ketchup and mustard as opposed to giving us the full-on condiments. They would mix the ketchup and mustard. And, but, and I was like, well, wait a minute. It was actually kind of good when you mix the ketchup and mustard. So when I wanted to, I actually was going to make my own ketchup from scratch because, you know, that was like the whole thing of the kitchen. So I decided to look at the ingredients of ketchup. And the ketchup is basically... Um, your tomatoes, your vinegar, except it's got that, you know, high fructose corn syrup, which is not good. But then it's got your salt and your syrups and all that, right? So I was like, well, why would I make it from scratch? So the main ingredient in the sauce is ketchup. So we're going to go with our ketchup, not so secret sauce. All right, so we got our ketchup, a cup of ketchup. And then we're going to go with a third cup of mustard. Again, both of these have literally the same ingredients except for this is white vinegar, mustard seed, water, salt, turmeric is in your mustard, natural flavors, spices, and things like that. So our next one is going to be our mustard. That's going to go in. This is going to be a great picture. I'm going to pause my uh, Instagram. And I'm not going to get a whole thing. You know what? You know what? I just I just thought about it. That's supposed to be in that bowl. And this is supposed to be one half cup of brown sugar. So let me 
adjust myself. I was like, why am I still squeezing mustard? There's too much mustard. A third cup of mustard. All right. I was like, this is my brown sugar. And then that's, that's really it, except for we're going to add the lemonade to the sauce. off on me over here and I need to check the YouTube. Well YouTube is still going. I can see I can clearly see the YouTube up here on the big screen. Oh, I love it. I love it. And again those onions don't worry about the onions over there. The onions are going to just cook. I'm gonna turn those really down down a little bit more because they got a little bit more sizzle than I want. And we're just doing some caramelized, deeply caramelized onions. I might even add a little wine to the onion. I think that's where we'll put our wine. We're supposed to get a little wine. A little bit of wine into this. So when I onion, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some, some uh, I've got some dry, let's see, I've got some red wine over here. Uh, some Merlot. I'm just going to hit those onions off with a little bit of Merlot. And... That'll be that, and I can get ready to get out of here. Okay, so now we got a brown sugar. So a cup of ketchup, a half a cup of brown sugar, a third of a cup of mustard, and a little less, depending on the, your, your heat tolerance, a fourth of a cup or less of hot sauce. Hot sauce or your, I'm doing a buffalo sauce because I like that buffalo flavor. Oh, man, we got a little battery over here. I like that. I like that um, buffalo flavor in it as well. What am I doing? Brown sugar. Let's see if we can just pour this off. Brown sugar is kind of hard. Pack, and they always say a pack, pack cup. So we're gonna pack it in. A half a cup of brown sugar. And this is going to give me enough to brunt to, um, come, uh oh, my oil. Hold on. My oil is ready. Did somebody tell me my oil was ready back there? Definitely need to get my fan on for that. Let's get my first piece of chicken bread. I'm going to get my fan on for when that hits that oil. We drop a good flour and then get that going so we don't get no smoke. See how I, I put a little bit of flour in there just to kind of see how it's going to handle a piece of chicken. Instagram, I'll have to pause you guys for a second. Bear with me. Got to do my camera video, y'all. Uh, my chicken was already marinated. The big difference when you cook in the breaded chicken 
than the um, good. That didn't smoke up too much. Made a little bit of a mess. Y'all know I hate making a mess in the kitchen. So we got a pack cup, pack cup of that, pack cup of that. And then we're going to do a, a lemonade that's going to go in there. She can't cook a sauce without some lemonade. Pink lemonade at that. What's the flavor of pink lemonade? Y'all know the flavor of pink lemonade? It's blackberry, raspberry. Make sure you're using some real fruit in your lemonade, not just a bunch of artificial colors. All right. We're good to go on our sauce. We're going to go ahead and get that. Get a photo of that. Put up all this mess. And again, add in some other things. Whatever your favorite condiments are, you know. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot about my barbecue sauce. I put my bar in a barbecue sauce. Even though this is kind of the sauce with the brown sugar. I'm trying to think, did I use barbecue sauce in my sauce? Because I actually, this is barbecue sauce. I'm like, did I add barbecue? I don't think I put barbecue sauce in it. Did I put barbecue sauce in it? You know how I can find out? Go check my recipe. How about that? Because, I mean, technically, I, this is barbecue sauce. And my all my chef friends used to come back and tell me that all the time. It's like, you're adding ingredients to that will make whatever you're adding them to. We're going to go to my video. I'm going to do dryer buzz. And I'm going to check my not-so-secret barbecue sauce. Buffalo barbecue sauce. We're gonna check our ingredients. Brown sugar, All that flowers is going everywhere. And again, one of the things that I like to do is, you know, I don't want to have to babysit it on all that flying right now, so I'm going to move this side to take my picture, is I like to um, brown it and just put it in the oven. 
because one live streaming, and I'm only doing that because live streaming, as you can see, my attention gets diverted. Okay, so y'all ever see fire over there and I'm looking over here? Somebody yell on the screen. What's going on over here? Something happened with Periscope. Looks like Periscope kicked everybody out. Let me restart it. Nope, that's not the right one. Let me restart over here. All right, guys, hopefully we're back. Looks like Periscope keeps everybody out, and uh, we'll get restarted there. Hopefully they'll put us on a good server, and we can get everybody back in. And I hope you guys didn't have too many problems. Um, if you're just coming on, if you're just going to come in, again, swipe to the profile, and you can see a little bit of what we're talking about. Sorry that back then, guys, I think you guys got kicked out. So I'm going to get a quick picture here of the... Saucy situation of the not so secret sauce. If you use your portrait mode, you can create a three D video, a three D photo on um. on our Facebook. Alright, okay. I don't have too much. Let me see. Yeah, Instagram quit on me, so we'll get Instagram back up. And now I can get on here and tend to this food. Ugh! And I'm going to get some charge going on on. Welcome back, Instagram. Sorry about the delay. We, You guys are on my good device. So I have to. Let's see here. Pin comment. Okay, cool. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back, Periscope. So we just basically, Chick-fil-A is closed today. So we're making our own chicken sandwiches. I've got some onions. That I am sitting right here. I'm going to grab a pen and put this chick on in. I don't know about these tongs. They're they still tongs, but they're kind of hard to grab. Whereas my other tongs, I can get right in it. Unless I just need to get used to them. So we've got some boneless chicken thighs that I have breaded at family's request and I fried those off. There you go. So just some um, boneless chicken thighs. I'm going to pop that in the oven and let that just kind of hang out in the oven while we finish up the next batch here. Get that in there before my grease changes temperature on me. This should be the, I think I had eight and all. And then I have some onions I'm just deeply caramelizing over there. We're making just a simple chicken slider with a not so secret sauce. Not doing a lot, not cooking a lot. I know it's Sunday. But we get ready to go into spring, so the, the next heavy meal we have, I don't know about y'all, but the next heavy meal we'll have will be Easter Sunday. And then I probably will do a lot of light dishes after that. These things hold a lot of my flour. So. All right. 
clean up some of this mess I got going on here. And the ingredients for the sauce is there. I'm going to post that. There's already a YouTube out there. If anything, today I'll probably just do a couple of new pictures. I don't, this is not going to be, it, it will end up being uh, a video, but mainly of the finished product. Because it's the same thing we did with the chicken and waffles. Uh, I need to, that's charging. Somebody needed some charge. Uh, this is charging. I think that needs some charging. So those of you that are watching on Instagram, listen, if you're on any of these other platforms, you can go and chill out on your couch and watch us live on your fire stick. Uh, I did a little bit of an example of that in the previous video. Uh, if you're on any, whatever platform you're on, there's a previous video showing how to pull us up on your fire stick. So you can go chill in your bed, chill on your couch, in your family room, in your theater room, whatever you got going on with all of your uh, gadgets and so forth. So again, I'm just letting these onions go long. Go long, football. And anybody wants to know, well, why are you wearing a football shirt? Why are you wearing the, I'm wearing the Falcon shirt because there is no more cooked bird than the Falcon. I'm sorry, y'all. No, only because um, I'm just supporting. Because I gotta go throw on a, a dress when I finish this. My, my daughter was like, well, you're gonna smell like chicken. I'm like, I wanna smell like food. That's my brand. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, as soon as this is done, I'm running out the door to an event. Uh, I know that was wrong, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no more cooked bird than the palace. <laughs> and I just told a friend of mine to get me some falcon credentials for next year. They're gonna be like, we're not letting her up in here. I'm telling you, honey. And I am, I am old school Atlanta. I am old school Atlanta, y'all. And um, I'll just tell you, I don't know, it's just something about them. I, I love, let me tell you, I do love the Falcon fans because they are, there is no more diehard fan right now than the Falcon fans because they are just, they are just supporting, they love their team, don't say nothing about Matt Ryan. Huh? Like they say, every, every, every week, it ain't Matt's fault, it ain't Matt's fault. It might be a little bit of Matt's fault at this point. Matt's been around a long time. It might be a little bit of Matt's fault by then, honey. I don't know. I'm still letting these onions go. I think I'm going to put a little something in here on these onions. What should I put on the onions? I'm going to put a little wine on the onions because they're about ready. I'm going to have some drunken onions. How about drunken onions on the... We're gonna have some drunken onions. And y'all know I love a drunken onion. The stove is some red dead. I didn't put some salt on these onions, didn't I? Ooh, that smells good, that Merlot coming off of there. Mmm. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be good. Could put a little bit of, I got, let me see. No, I won't put no sugar on it. I won't. I'm trying, one of my, one of my supporters is like, we gotta dial it back to sugar a little bit, y'all. We gotta dial back to sugar. We gotta figure out. We gotta start using uh, some something natural in there. Okay, I'm gonna turn the onions off. So as you can see, I've got a nice dark onion to go on that sandwich. Y'all can see that getting everybody shot. So we have got us a nice dark onion. I still could. It still look bright to me, but I just want to have some onions to go on the sandwich. I couldn't think of anything else to go on chicken. It just nothing really set well within my spare rod. So I just couldn't. Got a couple of dishes going on here, so let's get a little a little soakage going on. in the sink here. Since I'm going to have to run out, somebody else is going to have to be 
Be thankful. Be grateful and knock out the kitchen for me. I don't want to leave them too much of a mess. But somebody else is going to have to clean the kitchen tonight. I and I don't usually leave a mess when I'm, when I'm in there cooking. Uh, Y'all see, I clean as I go. Welcome back, Periscopers. Thank you so much. I am so thankful to you guys welcoming us, welcoming us into the uh, kitchen community. We're going to use that for the sauce. Uh, the lemon cake, the lemon cake bake along was really fun. That was really fun. And it was the homemade from scratch lemon cake. Uh, it used some flour, three eggs, and three eggs and sugar, three eggs and a cup of sugar, then roughly about a cup of flour, uh, half a, a fourth of a cup of oil, half a cup of oil, I think it was, uh, lemon zest, lemon extract, and then we had fun making the lemon glaze that went on top of that, which you guys helped me do that. Oh, it, it looks good on the YouTube. Look at the, look at the cake and the sauce and y'all need to go over to the YouTube so you can see the view from over there. Oh, and put it on your television so you can see everything. Look at that. I got a television over here there, y'all. I don't know about these tongues. I really don't. They're hard. They're beating up my chicken. Unless I got it up. I'm, I'm, this is my first day using them from the old tongues, so I guess I got to figure out the angle because I like it because it's a um that silicone so the chicken is actually big the chicken is actually really big let me get some battery up here for you guys hold on this is a big piece of chicken that's why I like using the chicken thighs is your tube name the same yes yes go over to the um YouTube Dryer Buzz. Dryer Buzz is tube name the same. And if you go on your Fire Stick and download the YouTube app for your Fire Stick, then subscribe to the channel, and that way when I'm live, it'll pop up on your thing. You won't have to really search for it. And it's a little bit bigger view. Well, it's bigger because it's on TV, but pretty much about the same. Um, well, Periscope stops at the cake, so the YouTube view comes on around the counter a little bit more. Yeah. So my onions are ready. My chicken is, the other chicken is in there. Oh, we got to do the sauce. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I just made some lemonade in this pot, so we're going to go now with the sauce. So that, the last of the chicken is browning. We're going to hit this off, and my sauce, again, is a cup of ketchup, half a cup of brown sugar, a third of a cup of mustard, a fourth of a cup of hot sauce or buffalo sauce. I'm using a buffalo sauce. I'm not even going to use all of that because Teddy Betty is ready to go in on some chicken. And a cup of my lemonade, a cup of lemonade. So I'm going to put the lemonade in the brown, I'm going to put the brown sugar, I'm going to put the lemonade in. And then we're going to add all this stuff. Uh, this, no, lemonade goes last, okay? So we're going to do the ketchup in. We just basically dump it all in the pan and just stir it up. That is the not so secret sauce. And that is actually the remnant of, of the uh, roots of barbecue sauce. Most places, if you go somewhere, they say they got barbecue sauce. The only thing I don't add in is vinegar. And the only reason I'm not adding in, in vinegar is because ketchup has vinegar, mustard has vinegar, and the, bar the hot sauce and all that. It all starts with vinegar. So if you want to make your own barbecue sauce, start with the vinegar and add to it. Especially if you, you know, you 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 have a barbecue sauce and you add a little something to it. You ever notice when you get ready to start grilling out, you always start with barbecue sauce and you add a little stuff. And especially if you marinate your meat, I got flour everywhere. So if I go down, I got flour on my floor. But um, that's ready. So what we're gonna do? is I'm just going to now add in my ketchup, just dump it all in there, give it a good stir. So the ketchup is going in, whatever brand, your favorite ketchup, I'm going to add in the mustard. And this goes back to that taste I used to love in, in the school cafeteria. 
Okay? And again, I'm going to go light. I'm not even going to add that oil because I know Teddy Betty's just worried about the buffalo sauce. And, and I know that pain when you can't eat spicy food. And then again, my brown sugar that goes in there. And because I like to I like to get like Jesus and add some wine, I'm not going to add wine, but I am going to add a fruit to this. And so the basis of thinning that out a little bit, I'm going to go in with the lemonade. Because lemonade is my brain. So why not? Why wouldn't I thin that up with a little bit of lemonade? Not a lot. Just a little. Just to get a little bit of that flavor in there. That's blackberry lemonade at that. And then you just kind of let it. You'll see, you, if you watch it, you'll see a transformation. It's like, it'll boil, as soon as it boils over, and it comes together as a sauce. And it's barbecue sauce. Buffalo barbecue sauce. I was like, why didn't I have barbecue sauce? That's not in my thing. And I'll show you. See that? That's my sauce. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chicken, and this is ready. So we're going to turn the chicken off. I'm going to put, I'm going to put the chicken in the oven. Let me get my pan where the rest of my chicken is in. And I'll show you what we do with that. And that's hot. Let me make some room over here, guys. So we're watching our buffalo sauce. 
barbecue buffalo sauce. Now we can give it a stir. Okay. It gets that like, glaze kind of on the top of it and around the bottom and the sides and all of that. And that lets you know it's ready. All right. Oh, it smells good. Y'all haven't heard me say that yet. So if you look, see that on my spoon? That's what I want. That's what I want. I want that, that candy like, oh, my God, that smells good. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get us a sandwich made. Let me get these out. See how quiet that chicken has become? It's ready. Quiet chicken is done. And these tongues are beating up my chicken. I gotta get used to these new tongues. All right, so we're gonna take a piece of chicken. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna come over to you guys and do this. All right, so I have a piece of chicken and I have my sauce and we're just gonna go in there, right out of the pan and into the sauce. Out of the pan and into the sauce, low battery. Okay, hold on, hold low battery on there. What did that say? Uh, light and scrub just for a quick Sunday, yes. And this is quick, if it's a game day Sunday, uh, if you're tired of chicken wings, go with the chicken thighs. So I'm just getting that on there. And normally what I would do is I'd put this right back in the oven. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and make up a quick slider. So I need my knife to cut that. I cut the bread. Did I cut the bread? I'm going to let that rest for a second. And then I'm going to go get, throw my dress on and get up out of here. So we're going to cut our bun. They want it slider, so we're going to do just a little bit of a slider here. All right, let me cut this, cut a piece of this chicken. Ooh, all right. I got to get the chicken done. All right. Go with that sauce on there. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, buzz, you ought to stop. Put a little bit of onion on top of that. Honey. OMG. Here we go. Let's just sit that like that and get us a good 3D of it. Instagram. Pause it, y'all, one more time. I promise I'm going to be right back. Video. I need video. I think that's it, y'all. All right, so let's get our chicken going here. Anybody else as excited as I am? Oh, shoot. That's shot somewhere. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to dip our chicken in the sauce. And let me tell you, when you after you put your, your sauce on there, just put it back in the oven, just kind of let it crisp on up. Look at that. And this is dark meat chicken. Oh, wait a minute, guys. You need battery. I forgot. This is uh, dark meat chicken. Let's see. Where is the battery inside? Ugh. There we go. Sorry about that. Hope you guys can still see. Okay, cool. All right. 
So you can do this with your chicken breast, chicken tenders, for the kids, for the family. Great for potluck if you gotta go to potluck. And then uh, on the chicken thigh, because it's butterfly, you just basically, just, just if you're gonna do a slider, just go ahead and cut it right down the middle there. It's, it's already kind of butterfly and you get the, the boneless chicken thigh. It's already kind of butterfly. And I'm just going to get these sauced up. And the sauce makes enough for eight. Actually, it makes a little bit more than that, depending, depending on. But what you do is put a little some in a container for the side. And what you want to also do, these, I don't, these tongues is getting on my nerves. What you also want to do is make some a little bit hotter, make some not hot. You know, you could do your, um, you know, the different degrees of sauce. Have a little bit, like, I'm making these kind of mild, and then for those that want the extra kick, can take and put a little bit more buffalo sauce on there, so. But I definitely have to get out of here. I think we're good. Last one. And I prefer them not breaded, but they like them breaded. Meaning flour. I put the flour on there. That's it. I'm just going to go ahead and pour a little bit of sauce over it. Everything off. Off, 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 off. We actually did a quick meal. And actually it was quicker than that because when you think about the conversation we had Prior to all of this, we had a little bit of conversation. But, and then like I said, you know, I'm just gonna pop this in the oven and let that sauce really work into that chicken. And they can come in and eat in about five minutes. And I'll be off the camera and they can have it. Top on the sauce, let that marinate, marinate. I gotta clean up, I got a mess going on here with this flour. She got a mess going on. Y'all know how I am with this flour all over my kitchen. And I use, I use my lemonade, but I just love having a little bit of fruit. I love putting a little bit of fruit juice in the sauces. And just keep in mind, I pulled out that bottle of barbecue sauce, but I was like, wait a minute, I'm making my barbecue sauce. It's like, there's no barbecue sauce in the not so secret sauce. And it was just ketchup, mustard, brown sugar, lemonade, and or whatever fruit juice. Last time I did it, I did blueberry juice. I did uh, made some blueberry juice, blueberry syrup. I made some blueberry syrup to go with it. Um, I'm just kind of straightening it up a little bit so when they come in and make their sandwiches, and they're gonna have it with coleslaw, and I'm done. The kitchen is, is, she's done cooking. I'm done. I'm done, YouTube. Love my, I love YouTube. And again, guys, if you are really, let me tell you, swipe to the profile so you can find out about the GoFundMe we have going on. So you can see where we like to take, where we'd like to take this um, and help out some families, uh, as well as grow the show and different things like that. Because when I think about the fact that I'm inviting you to watch this on television, like right now I'm in the dark. It's like really dark. I'm like, whoa, why am I in the dark? So I need to bring some lights in and so forth. Great job. Thank you so much, both of you. No, I think that's the bot behind you, Jayco. Uh, Balls Park, hey there, welcome in. We're just kind of wrapping up. Um, we've decided to do sliders for tonight. Um, Lazy weekend, it was, you know, they had the, what was the day? The spring forward day, so everybody is kind of out of their, rock, off their rockers right now. I didn't get out of bed. I got up, I woke up early because our police department decided to test the tornado sirens. So they went off accidentally, they say, at 6 a.m. this morning. So I woke up with that, tried to go back to sleep, couldn't go back to sleep. Uh, didn't go back to sleep till later on in the day. Ended up taking a long afternoon nap. Woke up at 4 o'clock. And then came in and did a little bit of prep for today. Yes. What you cooking? We just actually made a uh, slider. We, make, we had sliders for tonight. So there is one with a homemade not-so-secret sauce. 
It's on a brioche bun. It's got um, some caramelized onions that we added a little bit of red wine to. So red wine onion. And just a barbecue chicken. It's dark meat chicken. It's a, a barbecue. It's a chicken, boneless chicken thigh. And a homemade sauce, semi-homemade sauce from your kitchen condiments. And on a bun. And they're going to um, have it with some coleslaw. So I'm going to get out of the kitchen. They're going to come in. They're like, okay, mom's making something good. Every All hands on deck. Who are you cooking for? Uh, my kids. Grown, my grown adult children. Use it whenever I live stream something that's good. They're usually on the other side of these cameras and can't wait for me to like turn y'all off so they can get in here. Uh, the chicken will be good with rice. I actually have done this. This is my recipe for my chicken and waffles. When I do um, the, the Buffalo barbecue chicken, I usually serve it with a homemade waffle. I have one of the little mini, and that's what I was going to do, a slider with the mini waffles, but they were like, no, they wanted sliders. So I went out this morning and found, and I was actually going to bake, you know, I've been doing the baking from scratch. I was going to bake from scratch, but then I was like, wait a minute, that's an all-day thing. So I went out, and I just got a brioche bun. Um, got that at Aldi's, these little cute buns. I got that at Aldi. And uh, let's see, the age of the kids. Uh, my oldest is 30. My youngest is 22. And my, my, my oldest is, um, she's probably just finishing up. She has a salon. And my youngest is on the road. And the two middle ones are here. And they're getting ready to come in and take over and eat this chicken and enjoy it. So that makes any sense. Um, and I'm coming back into the kitchen after caregiving, going been in the caregiver mode for the past four years. Y'all, I do need to run out the store. i got to run out the store. i got 10 minutes to throw my dress on. Uh, did you learn to cook growing up? I'm an only child and my grandparents, my parents, uh, everybody cooked. There's nobody in my family that doesn't know how to cook, okay? So I grew up, but I haven't been in the kitchen in about 20 years because I was working, you know. Um, my daughters, all of them could cook. We all had our, we all had a night in the kitchen. No one person was responsible for feeding everybody. Everybody had a day. You cook, you did the dishes, you you know, everybody had a role in the house. So we all have we all have our, our things that we love to cook. I came back in um in the kitchen and I was like, well I kinda I miss cooking. I miss I, I kinda enjoy this. And I came back in, I started exploring different recipes. I started buying cookbooks and um and so you know being the content creator, being that I was a blogger for 17 years, I'm like Wait a minute, why don't I why don't I join the cooking community? You know, so that's what I did. Never really learned, really. And I, I find I know there are a lot of people that just have never ventured into. In fact, I always said my next place when I was looking to downsize, I would say I don't even want a kitchen. Because I don't even want to go in there. But then, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. It became my it became a, my therapy, uh, in a sense, y'all. It really did. Um, and so for the last, I have been on this side of the journey now for a year. A year ago, I came in in the kitchen, and um, if you look at the older videos, you can see the kitchen has definitely evolved. And now I wanted to evolve some more, adding in the the um, the advocacy that I want to do in the kitchen and so forth. Uh, I went to university and then my career exactly, and but I've been a blogger for the past 17 years and now I have people wanting saying that and hey, listen I want to come in the kitchen can you because I'm not I'm not doing interviews anymore, but yeah they are like well can I come and stream with you and the guys like well, you know well that's kind of like my real kitchen, so but um, I've got I was invited to we we cook live on stage with one of the interviews that I had so it's been it's been an exciting thing. So, and then too, you know, I love making videos. I love doing the YouTube videos. So I'm like, what better? What the internet, the social media is, has always been about food, people posting what they eat. And now I, I'm making this stuff, you know? So I'm excited about it. I'm going to untie this apron and I'm going to stop answering these questions. And I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, so, two very important things. Please go over and subscribe uh, to the YouTube. Uh, do two things for me. Find us. There are two apps to go on your fire stick. You can, there, there is a Periscope app. Make me some of that tea. That is actually not tea. You know that's the lemonade. 
That is the, the lemonade. This is, uh, we do our own homemade lemonade. Raspberry, no, this is blackberry. That is the blackberry lemonade. Looks like the raspberry, right? That's actually the blackberry lemonade. Uh, I actually just um, added plain lemonade to it today. So it's, it's kind of lighter in color. Because I, I guess you could say I kind of, not watered it down, but I added plain lemonade to that. Lemonade, I know, right? But do me a favor, if you have Fire Stick, go over and find either the Periscope app. There is a Periscope app. No, there's a Twitter app. There's a Twitter app um, where you can actually watch Periscope on your TV. And if you go to the, your Twitter app and then go to Dryer Buzz, and you'll see us live in the stream there. Um, and also, you can watch us on your YouTube. There's a huge television right here now that we brought into the kitchen. Had an extra TV around. Hashtag blessed. Like, wait a minute. I need a TV in the kitchen. Because I was actually going to watch. Trying, I've been trying to watch The Godfather all weekend, y'all. What's today? Sunday. I'm going to go. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, let me see what's up. Yeah. Yeah, go on your fire stick. Then you can get a Twitter app if you love watching Periscopes. Find that person's uh, Twitter name. And you can go to their Twitter profile. And... Um, if you, because you can go on, you can go on the internet on there, or there is, they do show some videos. I'm still trying to figure out how to navigate through it. Or you can do me the big, the larger favor and go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. And on the YouTube, you get a wider shot. And we also run a kitchen cam, a live kitchen cam. So on days, even when I am not cooking, I have a kitchen cam on and we're doing some other things in the kitchen. So, and you can watch the video. So, like, if you want to make something that we made on the YouTube, um, I then go back and extract about a one to two minute how-to video uh, on this. Like, this will end up being just a quick 30 second video of mainly the sauce and the chicken. Just a couple of pictures of what we did. You know what, I guess I could taste that since I do have the pictures. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm. Hopefully, and I don't taste any heat. Number one fan. Oh, I got a number one fan. Love you, too. I don't taste any heat. The, the ketchup, the mustard, the brown sugar, the onion. Mmm. That's a good slaughter. That is a good slaughter. And that's going to be really good with some cold sauce. And then some lemon cake after that. Oh, my God. Mmm. Patty Patty. Yes. Look, she opened that door with a quickness. <laughs> it is really moist. Come in, taste it, and make sure it's not too hot. Now, I don't think it is. I didn't put all the hot stuff in there. And that lemonade, I'm telling you. I'm heading out. Come on. I need a, I need a, I need a review right quick so I can get off this video. Yeah, you can let him out. I'm done. Oh, I didn't know that. No, just stand right there and... and Taste the slider. Let me make sure it's not not too hot. You smell the sauce? Mm -hmm. You about to do your happy dance. I saw it. Don't let it through. It's definitely not too hot. Mm -hmm. It just got the nice vinegar from it. That that was a different buffalo sauce. That's not the same buffalo chicken sauce. Where the rest on that? She said, where the rest? Oh, in the oven. Do you want this back? No, go ahead. You can finish it. Patty Betty said, <laughs> Bella said she'll, he'll, she'll he'll review. I don't know. Bella, tell me. Oh, look at that. So there we go. We got a plate of chicken. Y'all see that? That's hot, y'all. I don't have my other thing. Got to hold it up for you guys. So once you put it in the oven, that's why I like to put it in the oven because remember now, it has brown sugar in it. So you want to see that? With the brown sugar in it, you're going to get a real good crispiness to it. So all they have to do to make the sliders is just kind of go ahead and cut it up and make your sandwiches, okay? Mm -hmm. And she wants me to get off camera so she can come on in here and eat. Oh, that looks good. Look at that, y'all. I'm telling you. Let me tell you. Try it. You want to try this again. Not so secret sauce. Um, use uh, your chicken thigh because it's really moist. She said it looks it looks uh, moist, right? Because it's not chicken breast. It's not chicken breast. 
And imagine like when you love the flavor of the wings, it's like it's like moving from the wings to the big chicken. And, and listen, Atlanta is home of the big chicken. So naturally, I would cook the big chicken. Atlanta's home of the most cooked bird ever, the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> Today's broadcast is dedicated to the Atlanta Falcons. Um, nice and crisp. It's, it's actually really good. It's really moist. Uh, but that's why I put it in the oven to get that sauce to cook into that because we bread we did a breading and we floured the chicken So it has that to soak up extra sauce, right? If you want to go, it's a boneless chicken. So if you want to do um, If you don't want to do the bread, that's everything's pretty much optional and the sauce is made from the condiments right from your fridge so your favorite ketchup your favorite mustard your favorite hot sauce um, your favorite brown sugar, you know, if you think about in every sauce, you always want a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that. I gotta go, y'all. I gotta go. Damn, I'm getting hungry. I'm telling you, this is really good. So, shout out to our Atlanta Falcons uh, as they are trying to figure out how to get us into that winter circle. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna run downtown right at, right at 8:30, right at 8:30. So uh, have a great day. For those of you that are going through your Lent and you can't eat right now, that's all right. That's all right. Wait wait for it. The wait will have me too. Toodles. Okay. And I got to end all these different broadcasts. And Patty Betty done ate my photo sandwich, so I don't have anything to end the broadcast on. All righty, guys. Bye. Love y'all. Thanks for the support. Don't forget, swipe to the profile. Check out the GoFundMe, and it'll tell you a little bit more about what we want to do for this season. Have a great night. Thanks for coming back. Now, and listen, I'm going to stream from there. I'm going to go live. You're in that for me? Go ahead, in it. Right now? Yeah.